Hey guys, if you want to know how I maintain my pixie cut at home, how I relax it to keep it fresh for when I want to style it, curl it or foam wrap it, watch this video. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nomsa. Firstly, I want to say I realized the past two vlogs I did not officially introduce myself. So, my name is Nomsa and this is my channel where I will be vlogging about my life and anything else that concerns me and I hope you subscribe, I hope you enjoy the content that you see on this channel and please let's engage in the comment section. As you may have seen from the title of the video, I am doing my hair, I am refreshing, refreshing my relaxer. So, I am quoting and quoting because it's not really a refresher it's an actual relaxer because my hair is quite so the last time I relaxed my hair was about two um two weeks ago which is around Christmas okay but now my hair you should technically only relax your hair from about six weeks and more but my hair is stubborn my hair is quite thick and it's quite coarse and I need it for, if I want to have my hair looking nice, if I want to have nice, fresh looking, curled hair, or if I want to foam wrap it and it to be my hairstyle for it to lay nice and flat, my hair has to be freshly relaxed. So that's what I'm going to be doing today and I will take you guys on that process with me. Can I just please warn you, do not copy what I'm going to do today because I'm really taking shortcuts here. Please remember, I understand my hair. I know what I need to be doing right, which I'll be doing wrong. I'm aware of it. So please, whatever I'll be doing here, I would advise you to not take everything that I do and do it. I'm just recording this for you guys to see how I maintain my pixie cut at home. I do have a hairdressing um, qualification, but also, that does not mean that everything I'm going to be doing in this video is right, is by the book. So I'm just doing what has been working for me. And um, if you want to copy me, please do that at your own risk. So let's do this here. So first things first, obviously you have to protect your skin, your hairline, your skin around your ears, skin around your neck because you are going to be using a chemical which can burn your skin and we don't want that so i'm just using vaseline nothing special really works just fine they use this at salons as well so i think you can use hair food or you can use just normal vaseline okay so the relaxer I am using is this Easy Waves and I'm using, like I said to you, my hair is very thick so I'm using one for coarse hair because my hair, does, it, it takes long to process, it takes so long. So like if I use regular relaxer, it just doesn't do it, it's either it's going to take too long which means the relaxer stays too long in my hair which I don't like or I use this one which will be effective quickly and I can wash it off of my hair quickly and we move on. So yeah, let us start doing it. And I am using this applicator brush and so this is the part where I said please don't follow everything that I do. Because this is not brand new, like a brand new relaxer in the sense that my hair has never been relaxed before my hair has been processed before so there's no need for me to be relaxing the top part of my hair okay technically but i'm going to be doing that because i'm lazy it's not the right thing to do i know what the right thing to do is but because i'm lazy i'm just gonna put this on my whole head okay so i will start at the back because the hair at the back because i keep cutting it every now and then it's like new hair so i need that to process longer so i'm gonna start at the back and then come to the front. Let's go. So 
So as you can see, I'm just putting it on. I'm not even making lines because I want the relaxer to go in everywhere, everywhere. So I'm just gonna, or just press it onto my hair and then I'll start making lines when I get to like the part where the hair is a bit longer. You see, this is exactly what I'm talking about. I should not be processing the top part of my hair. I'm just I'm just doing my own thing guys. Like I said, do not try this at home. <laughs> do not do what I'm doing. If you know the right way to relax your hair, this is how you should be doing it. So you go on the hair that's your virgin hair, hair that's never been relaxed before, right? Not this, which I'm doing. I did warn you. So I've applied the relaxer all over my hair and I've tried to stay away from areas where I need not touch with it and then I'm just gonna brush it just a little bit to get it into my hair before I start combing because once I comb it um, I don't like to keep it too long on my hair so everything is covered I concentrate on this part more because that's the most stubborn part of my hair i'm just gonna let it process a little bit before i comb it because the combing also it's just going to be running the comb through quickly and then we will rinse i'm recording this in the evening so if my lighting has changed a little bit please forgive me so i'm just combing through i had to get a towel because it gets messy. This step gets very messy. If you relaxed your hair before, you know this. So I concentrate on the back more because like I said, that is like my virgin hair because I keep cutting it. It gets messy. Don't mind it. So I'm just gonna comb through this and then I'm gonna wash it and then I just want to guys please I said to you don't copy what I'm doing I'm doing a rush job My hair is quite long, if you see the back. I would like for it to be much shorter than that, but we'll sort that out later. Right now my priority is getting it nicely relaxed so it can lay flat when I foam wrap it. It is, you can see how flat it is. I can already tell it's processed. I am going to wash now and I will come back once it has been washed so I'm just gonna use so I'm gonna water rinse get the relaxer off of my hair and then I'm gonna use a neutralizing shampoo and then I'm going to be using a conditioner and then I will come back we will foam wrap and then I think I will only style it tomorrow morning so I will see you once I've washed so our hair is all washed so what I'm doing now is just basically directing the hair combing it in the direction that I want to foam wrap it so I'm just gonna comb through 
the hair and then I'm going to put the foam on it while it's still wet. The hair has to be very wet if you want it to set nicely. You have to foam, uh, foam wrap it or put the foam on while the hair is like really wet. It could even be dripping wet because this thing really penetrates English because um, the foam wrap gets into your hair quite quickly and it dries up very quickly as well so as you can see my hair is dripping wet that's how we want it so I'm just directing the hair before I put so that it's easier for me when the foam is on this is a very messy process but it is worth it trust me I think I like it like this I I think this is always the hairstyle or the always the direction that I will take my hair I think I like it that way just gonna make sure that this looks as straight as possible and then let us do our foam wrap this towel keeps falling off never mind that let's put on the foaming wrap so we are using the ORS wrap set mousse shake it if you want to you don't have to you can spray it directly onto your hair or you can put it on your hand and spread it across your hair which works better because the other the other way wastes product you end up putting in way more than you should and this goes a very long way like a little goes a very 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 long way and one bottle lasts it lasts me quite a bit I think I can take this off I am trying to rush through this before um, the hair gets dry We are just going to comb through it, make sure that the hair is laying exactly how you want it to lay and then it's very easy to comb through it. The forming wrap makes it very easy. My hair is long, I'm going to have to cut it somewhat here because you can see it's overlapping. I like it to be quite flat behind the ears. so. I will cut it once it's dried up, once I've gotten the direction that I want it to go. Like I said, my hair is quite, quite thick. So I have to be very fast also because once this thing gets dry, my hair is not gonna lay as smoothly as I would like for it to lay. So here you can play around with it if you want to do the waves, which I don't think I'm going to do today. I'm just going to do that just to give it a bit of direction. I'm rushing because I don't want it to dry up because once it does, then my hair's not going to lay flat. Once I feel like it's all flat, all level, then I quickly put on my, I use a do-rag because I don't have the wrap strips. I need to get those from Amazon. That's the only place I could find them. Maybe I haven't looked properly, but I think I'll just get them from Amazon because I also want to try the Nairobi foaming um, mousse that I've seen a lot of the American girlies use. So yeah, this is us. Don't mind the fact that the foam comes onto your face. It hasn't done any damage to my skin. So I think it's safe because you want it to cover every last bit of hair. So just gonna direct it nicely so that you see it's already trying to to lift up in some places so while you fix the one side the other side is trying to to get lifted so 
I'm just gonna spread it nicely at the bottom and then we are going to wrap so before I wrap it I'm just gonna show you the back I just run my hand to feel if there are any lumps and bumps or things that I'm not happy with and then I just fix that quickly okay just gonna wipe off some from my face and then quickly put our durag on so this is what I use. The only thing I don't like about this is that this line. You see that line? Sometimes it shows on your hair. So sometimes I will turn it inside out so that the line is not as harsh. You see this side, this is the inside part. So I'll put this on the outside. So instead of having this on the outside, I'll have this on the inside. So yeah, before our hair dries up, it works quite well this durag because it smoothens the hair quite nicely you want to make sure that you cover every last bit of hair that you put foam on and you do not tie it too hard because it's going to leave a pattern of however you would have tied it so just tight enough not too tight what I'm going to do is sit under the dryer for 45 minutes. So what you can do is sit under the dryer for 30 to 45 minutes, or if you do it in the evening like I'm doing right now, you can just put another head wrap over it and go to bed. By the time you wake up, your hair would have dried. This is sometimes what I do if I'm not planning to curl my hair. I just want it a little bit um flat like not but not like flat flat um to an extent where i need to have um used heat on it for it to dry quicker so i just do this and then i'm gonna sit under my dryer for 45 minutes and then i will see you guys in the morning when i unwrap and then i'll decide how i want to style it for the day so let's see what it looks like tomorrow morning Hi guys, it's the next morning and I am about to take the durag off. Like I said, I sat under the dryer last night for about 45 minutes, went to bed and I have woken up today and uh, showered and I'm ready to take this off and style my hair. I've decided I'm going to try and curl it. And so this is the initial reveal what the hair looks like after being wrapped overnight so i'm going to use my heat protection serum on the hair before i put any heat on it it's a nice and very light serum have to protect our hair from heat in as much as i didn't do it yesterday before um, sitting under the dryer I am doing it today. I feel like a straightener or a curler has more effect heat-wise on the hair than a, a hair dryer does. I don't know. So yeah, all done. And then I'm just going to start curling it. So I'm going to follow the same pattern. This is why I was saying yesterday, when you foam wrap it, you wrap it in a way that when you style it, you've already almost like set a path to follow when you start styling it so yeah i'm gonna start i'm using this um silver bullet straightener and it's on 200 degrees celsius but if i feel like it's too hot i can always turn it down to like 180 because we definitely don't want to damage our hair with this thing so it looks quite good like i said to you my hair is quite thick so for it to look like this is a very good result for me i'm happy with that i have some gray hairs as well which i love very much got no issues with that okay yeah so let's curl the hair so i will usually start with this side that is longer and just follow 
through. It's quite a an easy process. It's just that it does take a bit of time. That's our first curl. So I'm just going to follow the direction of my hair. I'm not very meticulous, if I'm being honest with you. This is how it looks at the moment. I haven't combed it out. I've just went and curled all the way around. The longer part, the bottom part is still flat and I'm leaving it like that. I will see you guys once I have finished doing my face and I have combed my hair out and you will see what the end result looks like. Guys, this is the end product. I am happy with it. It's soft curls, so I don't use spritz on my hair because I don't like the stiffness and the smell of it. So it's soft curls that will last me a few days and I am happy with the outcome. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you get to try doing your hair at home. Remember to do it the safe way and I will see you guys on the next one.